What's good, guys? Fancy Joe back here on our fantasy football profile. Today, I'm talking Los Angeles Rams running back Cam Akers. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Drop a ton of these fantasy profiles, a ton already on the channel, a ton coming your way as so you're going to check those out. A ton of redraft content, league winners, sleepers, values, busts, all that good stuff. Dynasty content as well, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. I'll respond as always. Let's talk Cam Akers. Okay, so in 2021, Cam Akers basically missed the entire 2021 regular season. I think he had five carries in the regular season altogether. But in the playoffs, he was the featured back for them on a Super Bowl run. He got a ton of volume, averaging 16.75 carries per game in the playoffs. Uh, coming off that torn Achilles, obviously, that's why he missed the 2021 season. Very remarkable that he was able to return at all and play even, you know, five carries in 2021 regular season and then the postseason. Both those things, miraculous. Usually see running backs miss a ton of time, or anyone who has an Achilles tear miss a ton of time, usually a full year. And the fact that he was able to come back and play, um, very impressive, very good for his upside, I think, for this season. That's why so many people are excited about him, because he was able to return so quickly. But he was extremely inefficient last season, averaging 2.57 yards per carry in the playoffs. Not very good at all. He did play some really good run defenses, though. you got to point that out. Played San Francisco. Um, also played the Buccaneers in the playoffs. So some tough defenses that he had to go against. Um, but I still think he has crazy upside if he is healthy and the guy in LA. And I do think getting a full off season under his legs after that, you know, seeing how inefficient he was last year. But again, tough defenses. You add all that together, I think he will be the guy in LA. If I had to bet on one guy, it'd be Cam Akers. And if he is the guy, he will be extremely successful for fantasy, even if he isn't his old self as far as the talent goes. If the talent's there as well, you could get a Todd Gurley situation where he absolutely blows up. Another thing to point out in LA is the they have the 11th ranked offensive line according to Pro Football Focus entering this season. I think that will help out Cam Akers immensely. Obviously, Matthew Stafford there as well. Sean McVay, just a good offense that should give him some scoring opportunities. I think that helps his upside immensely. His 2022 stat predictions, I've been projected for 220 plus carries, 30 plus receptions, and 11 touchdowns. Uh, obviously, if he you know gets 290 carries, like gets the pace that he was on in the playoffs, he could be the RB1 overall in fantasy if he's involved in the passing game and the touchdowns go his way. So that's in his realm of possibility if he's fully returns healthy. Obviously, Achilles injuries are scary, though. Um, but I think the fact that he returns so quickly and gets a full offseason under his belt, if he's ever going to be an efficient runner again, I think it will be this season. If you guys have made it to this point in the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll respond. As always, this has been Fancy Joe. Thank you guys for watching.